see a nuclear equation where there's coefficients in front. So if we look at this first example, um, and we'll see that there is a missing product, there's something I don't know, and I need to figure out what's the top number, what's the bottom number, and eventually what's the identity of this unknown particle. So I'm going to do the same thing as we did before, where we've got to make sure the top numbers and the bottom numbers on each side are equivalent. So right now on the left-hand side, I have 241 plus 4. Um, so that gives me a total of 245 on the left-hand side as my top number. And I have 95 and a 2, so that gives me a total of 97 on the left-hand side. On the right-hand side, I see that I have a 2 in front. And what that means is that I have two neutrons. So when I'm adding up or trying to find my x, my unknown substance, I have to account for the fact that there are two neutrons on the right. So what I'm basically doing is I'm multiplying both of these numbers, the top and bottom number, by two. So on the top, on the right-hand side so far, I have two times one, which is just two. And on the bottom, I have two times zero, which is still zero. So to find the identity of the unknown, I can subtract 245 minus 2, and I'll get a top number of 243. And I can do 97 minus 0, and I get a bottom number of 97. And that gives me the element BK, which goes with atomic number 97. So let's try the next one, um, example number 2. So same thing where I need to make sure that the top numbers and the bottom numbers on each side are equivalent. And let's start adding up what we've got on the left-hand side. So I have 214, and then I see that I have two alpha particles. So I multiply 2 times 4, and I get 8. And I also see that I have two beta particles, or two electrons, however you want to view that. And again, there's a coefficient in front. So I've got to multiply 2 times 0, which is still just 0. So on the top, the top number on the left-hand side, I've got 214 plus 2 times 4, which is 8. So that gives me, if I write it out, 214 plus 8. Or if I want to say that gives me 222 so far on the left-hand side. Um, as my bottom numbers, I have 84 in PO, and I notice, again, I have to multiply these two numbers, so I get 2 times 2, I have plus another 4, and I've got to multiply the 2 times the negative 1, so that gives me minus 2, which equals 86, and if I look up which has an atomic number of 86, that is RN radon. So 86 is my new bottom number, which goes along with radon, and 222 is my new mass number.